Hey guys, this is Naman sharing about WordPress and in today's video, I am going to share how you can make a slider in your Elementor website without using paid version of Elementor. So without further ado, let's start this video. So as we know, we are not going to use the paid version of Elementor. That's why we will achieve this slider in our free version of Elementor by using an additional plugin, which is also free. So let's start. So first of all, for installing the plugin, we will go to our WordPress dashboard and then go to the plugins and click on add new and search for Sina extension. Here it is the very first one. We will install this plugin. This plugin is by Sina extra and then activate it. So after activating this plugin, first we will create the slides we want to show in our slider. For that, we will go to the templates of Elementor and then click on add new and then select section and name down our slide. Let's suppose slide one and then create a template. This is our template in which we will design our very first slide. Uh, you can go with the scratch or even can import any block from the template library. So in this video, I will go with the pre-made templates. For that, I will go to this block and uh, find any suitable block that I can use in the slider. So let's go with this one. And now I will do some basic settings like uh, setting the minimum height. So I will see my slider responsive for all slides. So let's set a height to 700. And uh, then I want to change the font type. I want to go with the pop-ins and then you can do settings or uh, whatever you think you want to go with uh, so in my case i'm good with the design i'm just changing the colors and font types so basically this video is specifically for creating a custom slider in your free elementor website and uh, now i'm good with my very first slide I just changed the font families and font colors. So let's also change the background of this slide. Let's go with this one. And now we will click on publish. So we are done with the very first slide. And now we will again go back to our WordPress dashboard and again go to the templates and create our second slide. Let's name down it slide two. So it's up to you how many slides you want to display in your slider. In my case, my focus is to show uh, how you can create a custom slider in your free version element or website. And uh, regarding design, it's up to you whatever design you want to set for your slides. Even you want to show some call to actions, even you want to show some videos. So it's up to you but our main focus as we know is how to create a custom slider in our free version element or website so again let's import a section for our second slide and uh, let's find a suitable section let's go with this one and now we will again go to the settings and set our minimum height to 700 so we can keep our slider height consistent for all slides uh, so i'm good with the height now i can change the fonts uh, and then this font again to the pop-ins i also want this body text to be white and now i want to set this font family to pop-ins and simply now I'll copy this setting and paste style. So I'm set with my both of slide. I am good with the two slides in my slider. Uh, this is enough to show how we can create a custom slider in our free version of Elementor. And now we will open the page on which we want to add this slide. I want to set this slider in my home page. So I will open my home page with the Elementor editor. And once you open the page or post you want to add that slider, uh, you will just find Sina content slider in the left toolbar. We will drag this element to the main page. And now we have a pre-built content slider. We will simply click on use save templates and select our slides from here. 
in the same way for the second we will check in to the use save templates and select our slide number two and i have only two slides that's why i will delete the third one and as we can see our slider showing three slides at a time whereas we have two that's why our second slide is in repetition so we need to do some settings for that we will go to the slider settings and first of all uh, we set this show item to one and now we are good uh, as we can see it's showing one slide at a time and uh, next we need to do some settings like height as we know we set height of 700 for both of our templates that's why for showing them properly we need to set this height to 700 and next first of all we will set our block to the full width and uh, column gap to no gap and then again we will go back to our slider element and uh, set our padding to zero now as we can see our slider is end to end and it's full width and we can see it properly but we can notice that uh, our slider from the bottom is cropped that's why we need to increase the height so let's adjust to 750 or 800 so now it's looking good basically our individual slide height is 700 whereas we all if we set the 700 height even for this slider element it start cropping our slides because it's also including these uh, bullets in the 700 height that's why we always need to set height more than our individual slide height then we can show our uh, slides completely but let's get rid of these bullet icons for that we will again go back to the content and then go to the slider settings and from here we can uncheck the dots and now as we can see uh, our sliders are displaying properly so now we will update our edits and if we preview our website we can see our slider and we achieve this in free version of our elementor website so in this way by using the Cine extension you can create a custom slider in your free version of Elementor website and if you want to see such more videos on WordPress feel free to let me know in the comment box and if you like the video like and subscribe.